revolutionary greetings, comrades. We have been waiting for the outcome of the Zimbabwe elections. Uh, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission chairperson has just announced the presidential results. There were 11 candidates that contested the elections on the 23rd of August 2023. Justice, Justice uh, Chikomba announced that uh, the leader of ZANU-PF, Emerson Mnangagwa, won the elections with 52.6% of the vote. Uh, Nelson Chamisa, leader of Triple C, trailing, uh, uh, winning at 44% uh, of the vote. And the other uh, votes were then shared by the other nine presidential candidates. So, Emerson Tambuzo Mnangagwa has been re-elected re as the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe for a second term. Um, we will, as we said, when, when we were <clears throat> discussing the parliamentary results, that uh, we will uh, offer our own analysis in terms of uh, the outcome of this election. Uh, we said earlier on that um, uh, ZANU-PF won uh, 136 seats out of 210 with one outstanding. Uh, we said um, if the outstanding result, the seat, uh, uh, once it is declared, it might go to ZANU-PF because uh, Triple C, it has won 173 seats. So that's the outcome of the results. We will then analyze uh, in terms of the local government results in terms of who controls local government, in terms of our cities, in terms of our rural municipalities. But for the presidency, uh, it is Emerson Mnangagwa who has scored 52 plus 6 percent. We are not going to have very run. Uh, what, of course, we expect is that uh, <coughs> uh, Triple C is going to go to court. You remember last time when, when we discussed the issue of uh, candidates in Bulawayo, Triple C candidates, uh, where ZANU-PF approached the courts seeking disqualification of those candidates. We said uh, by doing what Triple C did, it scored, uh, uh, it gave ZANU-PF a political penalty. Uh, we had said in that video that um, if the courts were going to rule in favor of Triple C, uh, uh, ZANU PF will abide by the decision of the court or by the judgment. When uh, the Triple C dispute, as it is going to do, as we expect it's going to do, the outcome of the presidential results, it goes to court. The court rules against it. Uh, ZANU PF will then say, respect the outcome of the courts as we respected the outcome of the courts. So this, this is why we're talking about the political penalty then. Uh, we do not think that uh, Triple C is going to accept this result, uh, but uh, let's wait and see what is going to happen. Please share your views. Uh, I know that uh, I've been following social media. I know that uh, a number of, quite a number of people in the diaspora on social media they are not happy with this result. This raises the question of electoral participation by the diaspora. Uh, we will discuss further in the next video. Uh, what does it take for us in the diaspora to sacrifice, to go and cast the vote in Zimbabwe? But we will have, we'll have this discussion. It's, it's not good to always complain. Um, when uh, in the diaspora we do not go and vote. But as I conclude, uh, uh, Emerson Tambuzo Mnangako has been declared the winner of the presidential elections with 52.6%. Nelson Chamisa coming in number two with 44%. Please write in the comment section there, share your views. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mabena. Like this video, circulate, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, Please do follow us, otherwise 